All right, you're gonna be doing an install on a next gen Ranger dual battery under the bonnet. Okay, it's gonna be a pretty basic install, this one. Gonna fly over the top. Um, there's no drilling, no modifications or anything required to the car, so should be a nice quick video, show you how it's done. All right, let's remove this inner wheel arch guard. Probably could install it with this still on, but it's gonna make the job a heap easier. All right, so first just start removing all the obvious stuff, get the air box out of the way, get the water bottle filler out of the way, get all that stuff out of the way, and then we'll be able to see where this thing goes. So you will need to remove the large bolt from behind the water cooler here. You'll see this big white bolt here. And it also helps if you loosen off these other bolts, just by loosening these off, get a spanner in there a bit easier. So we've got the inner wheel arch out. You can see this little plate here. This little plate just needs to go up inside the radiator support, just enough that you can see the thread coming through those holes. So then we'll be able to put the bracket on. And the bracket just goes on like so. Uh, to slide the bracket in, it is a little bit fiddly to be able to hold the bracket and to be able to hold the, uh, the plate inside the chassis and put the bolts on. It's a little bit fiddly. If you get really stuck, there is a third bolt you could put in from the side to hold it, but you hold, the tongue, you hold your tongue the right way, you'll get it in. All right, got that all bolted on. Gonna leave it relatively loose. That way I can line it up when I get the battery tray in. So yeah, certainly not gonna tighten these ones up right away, but got both bolts in, no worries. Pretty straightforward here how the battery tray goes in just slides on in and because it's picking up all the factory holes, you can see exactly where it goes. So I'm gonna put this in. The car does have two bolts already, as you can see the big white bolt here. And also there's uh, the factory bolt from the airbox. Use both of those. And then you're just gonna need to find a random six by one mil pitch bolt to be able to put in here. Just a, a random six by one mil bolt. This third bolt really tightens the tray up and uh, makes it a lot more secure. So by putting that third bolt in, makes a big difference. So just marked where to drill the holes with this white marker here. I'm gonna be drilling through with a seven and a half mil drill bit 
and then gonna be using a, a self tapper or what's called a pinning bolt. Uh, and this bolt's gonna go through the arm. The arm's pretty thick, it's like two and a half, three mil thick. So it's gonna tap itself a nice thread through here. Look, you Oops. could get away with maybe some urethane or something. It's really just to stop the two from vibrating or bashing, but these bolts supplied should be nicer. And that's as simple as that. So we're going to put a bit of foam under the battery here just to stop the battery rubbing on the heads of those bolts we just installed. And then just put everything back on in reverse order that we pulled it off. So uh, pretty simple, simple and easy dual battery install on a next gen Ford Ranger.